Uh, that's why I vote to uh, eliminate. I'll, I'll vote for an injunction. Yeah, okay. both the Lido and uh, Thomas yeah. would, would have stopped that law. Here's the other thing that Gorsuch has said, which uh, forget for a second that he's talking about a, a vaccine mandate with no religious exemption. And imagine he's talking about another massive issue that the Supreme Court is dealing with. And he said, it's always the failure to defend the Constitution's promises that leads to this court's greatest regret. Now, do you think he's going to feel the same way when it's time to deal with Roe? Oh, he's going to, Roe's going to fall. Or if not fall, I think he'll be happy with the Roe decision because even though I think the court is going to say Roe versus Roe is going to be constitutional right, we're going to allow any restriction. You know, you can still have an abortion, but it's going to have to be in prison. All right, I mean, that sort of thing. We're not taking, taking away your right to an abortion. Obviously, I'm exaggerating here, a little hyperbole, but uh, that's what I'm convinced that's the thing. So carry that over to the right to have a gun in your house, get more self-protection. But the, the, the analogy would be if the court said, uh, we're going to uphold a law that says you can have a two-shot carrier, you have to keep the ammunition in a separate room from where the gun is, but technically, right. you're not completely taking away your right That's to exactly. have a gun in your house for protection. That's so the we're right. not overruling Heller and the same kind of tortured thing that they would do as well. Absolutely. I think it's a great answer. All right. So that is going on in New York. However, we do have some hospitals for so that for chicken or the roof first uh, because they are dropping their COVID-19 vaccine mandate. To ease some of their labor shortage, this is APA Healthcare, Tenant Healthcare, Advent Health, and Cleveland Clinic all dropping their mandate. They say they were already having trouble finding workers even before the pandemic. And then you've got basically 30% of workers at more than 2,000 hospitals across the country who, as of September anyway, were unvaccinated. And these hospitals and clinics say that they just can't operate if they stick to those mandates. It's not even a question of spreading shit, but I guess some of them is. Uh, if there are no nurses, you can't be safe. So they ask me, we have no choice. And, and what, it, what happens if an unvaccinated nurse actually becomes patient for us? Uh, and uh, all of a sudden, it becomes a superstar uh, event. I think now, given what we've seen about breakthrough infect infections and everything, I'm assuming they still will be wearing the full hospital grade protection. Well, not during breaks. Not walking down the hall, only when they put those protections on to enter the COVID door. They're still eating in the cafeteria. Uh, they're still milling about with uh, other uh, other nurses. Uh, they're still going to uh, vaccine, uh, non-vaccine mandated, and mandated. Uh, well, it's like a lady, except it's VA, vaccinated anonymous. Is it UVA? Unvaccinated. Yeah, that's even better. All right. Um, oh, this is a this is this is a bad look for uh, Mayfield Consumer Products, the candle factory that was featured in the news a lot in the aftermath of those tornadoes. And a lot of workers are claiming that in the hours before the actual tornadoes came through, there were still storms coming, storm warnings, and everything. And they were saying, "Can we please go home and shelter in place at our homes?" And they're claiming that management said we could be fired if you leave work early as this storm is coming. The problem is right now I don't know if we can say definitively yeah, that can. happened. You can just say some workers are reporting either they were told that or heard. Well, but there is somebody else was told. But there are enough of them uh, that there's probably a there there. If there were one or two, you go, okay, there's a little skepticism, but you know, when you have that many, you know, but also keep in mind, uh, between the time that the first warning came out and the actual, and then when the tornado hit, was hours later. Right. Uh, so they were, they were, I mean, they wanted to go home, theoretically, three, four, five hours before their shift was over, and their some management said, no, we can go home early. And then the problem is, by the time the tornadoes are coming, it's too late to, to, to help them. 
So we'll see if there's any motivation that comes out of this or OSHA gets involved. All right, let's take a, another break uh, and we'll come back and we'll get more handle on news that we're flipping with Jennifer. Jerry Collins, our department says it's preparing for potential mud flags. Inspector Sean Ferguson says they deployed firefighters and search and rescue teams in burn areas. Especially we're talking the Bobcat and the Red Sea Burn Fires. Now, those mountain sides were stripped barren of vegetation as a result of those wildfires. Ferguson says homeowners in those areas need to have an evacuation plan in place, just like they would for a wildfire. He also says people need to have a list of critical items to take at a moment's notice and the laptop and prescription bags.
kids 6 to 14, a flag football style clinic to teach football fundamentals to the kids. Tickets, they just start at $20. There are uh, priority access tickets you can also get if you want. Kids under 12 can go every day for free. Tickets go on sale at 10 o'clock this morning. You can buy them through Ticketmaster at uh, nfl.com slash fbx on sale. That's confusing to me. Download the NFL One Pass app to your device and do it that way. If you want more information on the Super Bowl experience presented by Lowe's, just go to superbowl.com or download that NFL One Pass app. You know, termites are not here when it rains uh, like crazy and it's cold. But then again, this is Southern California, so it's going to warm up again, and you're going to have termites. It's really just a matter of when, not if. You know, unless you see little bugs with little tiny umbrellas uh, that are flying around, those are still termites. So, Southern California termite central. They love uh, the weather, so do we. Uh, they love the fact that the fact that our houses are made out of wood, so do we. So they're there. And how do you deal with termites? Well, even if you don't think you have termites or don't know, call the folks at Pacific Coast Termites for a free home inspection. They'll tell you whether you don't or you do. And if you do have termites, well, that's, a, that's an easy answer as far as Pacific Coast Termite is concerned. They do their work without tenting. There's no tenting. And let me tell you, the difference between tenting and not tenting is all the difference in the world. I've tented. You do not want to be there. Call 800-PACIFIC, 800-PACIFIC. Visit PacificCoastTermite.com. 800 Pacific. Pacific Coast Termite. Kill Termite. The clean, friendly way. SoCal weather from KFI. Rain today with a slight chance of thunderstorms. Very windy as well. We could see one to three inches of rain along the coast and in the valleys. Up to five inches of rain in the mountains and foothills. Our wind advisory will stay in effect until three this afternoon. And we have a high surf advisory that stays in effect until two tomorrow. Highs both days will be around 60. We leave local. Live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Jennifer jones Lane. When Bill and I needed new windows over 20 years ago, we picked a company we thought would do a good job. We were so disappointed. But we saw a genuine need for a company with strong character, one that people could have faith in. American Vision Windows was born right then and there. The best thing about working for American Vision Windows, and with customers specifically, is having their dreams come true. And we try to accomplish the best job we can to make them happy. It was a great experience. I couldn't have asked for anything better. I've been in the construction trade for 35 years. The level of quality of products that they use for their prep work was top notch. American Vision Windows can continue to revolutionize the home improvement industry one customer at a time while changing the lives of our employees for the better. It's so simple. Happy employees, happy customers. For a limited time, we pay the tax. Plus zero payments, zero interest until 2023. Call 888-226-9908. That's 888-226-9908. Or visit AmericanVisionWindows.com. Tax based on materials only. On purchase of eight or more windows cannot be combined with any other offers. On approved credit, some restrictions apply. See website for details. Offer expires 12 31 2021 CSLB number 778 Hey, Mario Lopez here. COVID cases and new variants are unfortunately on the rise again. If you're experiencing symptoms, think you've been exposed, or just aren't quite sure about that one gathering you attended recently, get a no-cost to patient COVID test at covidclinic.org. That location's all throughout the state, with a rapid result testing also available. So visit covidclinic.org and find a location near you. It is easy, fast, and super safe. COVIDclinic.org. Tired of managing multiple vendors to protect your business? With a complete range of commercial fire and security solutions, Bay Alarm can protect it all with just one call. Go to BayAlarm.com to get protected today. ACL 28, CCL 880138. It's never too late to heal from the sexual abuse you suffered as a child. California law gives victims the right to seek justice and compensation. Call Jeff Anderson and Associates to learn more. 1 800 It's Time. 12011. San Vicente Boulevard, Los Angeles, 90049. Protect and purify the air you breathe with IQ Air. Visit IQAir.com slash US. IQAir.com slash US. For official rules and more information about contests on this station, Go to kfiam640.com slash rules. Live, KFI, local, AM640, and iHeartRadio station. And we're back. Bill Handel. And 
and uh, the morning crew on a uh, Tuesday, December 14th. Boy, is it raining. And I mean, it's coming down buckets of rain. Uh, it's... And we need it. And oh, yeah. uh, we absolutely need it. After yeah. this storm, we will be above average. Uh, Can you believe that? We'll be above average? Yes. God. And the reservoirs, well, they're not going to fill up. No, no, no. There's no way. We'll be above average for this time of year. But, uh, and we do, we're fingers crossed, 22nd and 23rd looks like another storm is coming in. Uh, no, so, and no flooding yet, right? No, no flooding yet. We do have some flash flood warnings in effect. Okay. And some burn areas have already been put on notice, but so far so good. All right, back we go. More handle on the news. Jennifer, Wayne, me. Well, the legal wrangling between USA Gymnastics and all the victims of former team doctor Larry Nasser now is over. They've reached a $380 million settlement. Over 90% of the victims voted in favor of the tentative settlement that was reached in September. That one had $425 million in damages, but they modified it to $380 million. So I have a question. A U.S. Gymnastics certainly has insurance. I mean, all these organizations do. But we're talking $380 million. And by the way, the insurance companies are always part of these negotiations because they're copying that money. Where the hell does U.S. Gymnastics and an insurance company come up with $380 million? I, I don't get it. I'd love to know what the max on the policy is. Well, I, oh, I doubt it'd be more than $25 million, $20 million. Uh, it, it, Because you're not, it's a non-profit. It's not General Motors. Uh, and uh, the liability, I mean, how much liability can U.S. Gymnastics have as far as the insurance companies are concerned? Yeah, because this is an unanticipated type of thing. Exactly. Well, Derek Chauvin, remember him, the Minneapolis police officer convicted in the death of George Floyd? He is apparently going to plead guilty tomorrow to the federal civil rights charges against him. And we know that because they scheduled a change of plea hearing for tomorrow, 9 o'clock, in the federal courthouse in St. Paul. Yeah, I'm going to try to fight this one. So why would he Why would he do that, Wayne? You've been in this uh, federal system for years. Explain this. A couple of reasons. The main one that comes to mind is uh, he would rather spend as much time as possible in federal custody that makes sense. than state custody. This gets him into federal custody right away. I don't know if we're going to see that he will testify against the other three officers that are charged with him in this federal civil rights case. It's possible that he's cut some kind of a cooperation deal on top of that. Hey. All right, Verizon is being sued by organizers of the January 6th rally who not only want to stop them from turning over all the records from the cell phones for the January 6th to the select committee on the January 6th attack, they want those records destroyed. I don't know, where are they going with this? Uh, uh, other than attacking uh, the legality of the committee itself, you cannot investigate us, uh, is effectively what they're saying. And they claim the subpoena of the phone records by the committee is unconstitutional. But that's a bunch of crap, because uh, phone records are constantly being subpoenaed. So... Where are they also, going? Also, they're suing Verizon. They're basically saying, we're suing you to not comply with this subpoena for these records. Shouldn't they just be suing the committee you and trying so. to get the subpoena yeah, invalidated? I, you know, where, where are they going to go? If you got an order from the court and then I sue you, don't comply. Yeah, it makes no sense. And don't you have to go after every cell phone company because not everybody there was a Verizon customer. That's a good point. That's a very good point. Um... Well, I don't know if you recall this situation. Uh, an ex-pro football player, Philip Adams, shot and killed a bunch of people. Um, there was a physician and his wife and their two grandchildren, and also there happened to be two HVAC techs that were working at the house. And uh, Philip Adams went in there and killed them all and then killed himself. Well, the family wants the coroner to release the test results for degenerative brain disease, which, as you know, can only be diagnosed after you've passed away. And so we're expecting those results 
today, which I guess will tell us whether he was suffering. Oh, he he was clearly. I mean, there's no CTE, choice. Chronic yeah. traumatic. Yeah. A couple of points I want to make. Uh, first of all, have you noticed the cooperation these families uh, are uh, are giving or providing with the authorities and the medical profession? They want people to know. And also, a recent study in which 111 NFL players whose brains were infected. CTE can only be diagnosed after someone is dead. Uh, and they have to remove, obviously, they have to autopsy the brain. Very few CTE uh, football players suffering from CTE are diagnosed while they're still alive. Removing the brain while they're still alive is very difficult. Anyway, out of the 111, 110 had CTE. So how can he not, especially when you do something like this, uh, no criminal record in the past, you know, ex-football player living a normal life, and boom, goes crazy. Although, I'm sure there were symptoms uh, that started uh, happening years before. And just real quickly, the NFL may be requiring, or will, sorry, require coaches and the team staff to get their COVID-19 boosters by December 27th because of the increased prevalence of the virus in our communities, they say. Yep, good luck. And uh, are they even allowing uh, religious exemptions? I don't even know if the NFL is. Or if they do, it has to be testing, etc. But uh, I'd be surprised. You're going to see fewer and fewer, I think, people allowing, organizations allowing religious exemptions because that's the perfect, uh, that's the perfect avenue out. Uh, all right, let's take a break. We'll come back and we'll finish up handle on the news, then let's check in with Jennifer Jones Lee. The LA School District Board will vote on whether to delay the COVID-19 vaccine deadline for students. The deadline is January 10th. The Air Force is down 27 active duty service members. They were booted for refusing to get the COVID vaccine last month. And the Labor Department says wholesale prices jumped by a record 9.6% in November compared to last year. Food prices, which had fallen 0.3% in October, jumped 1.2% last month. Energy prices rose 2.6% after a 5.3% rise in October. We've got your drive with DKFI in the sky and back to the 210 next. If you own a business and you manage to keep five or more employees on the payroll, during the pandemic, uh, there's a new government program that will pay you tens of thousands of dollars per employee. And this is a grant. Now, you're not borrowing this money. The challenge is getting your hands on it. It's a complicated federal bureaucracy, and this is where InnovationRefunds.com uh, comes in. They'll cut through the red tape and simply get you the money. They're experts at helping businesses like yours, businesses like mine, get our share of this government money and relief funds. And InnovationRefunds.com does all the legwork. Uh, charge nothing until you receive the money, then they share a percentage of the money you receive. It's a contingency arrangement. Now, in another program, they got my business a six-figure refund. On this one, their average client gets a quarter of a million dollars. Go to InnovationRefunds.com, click on the Qualify Me button, answer a few questions, that's it. InnovationRefunds.com, that's InnovationRefunds.com. Southern Californians could save an average of $537 when they switch to auto insurance through the Auto Club. Visit AAA.com slash insurance to see how much you could save. Get your free quote at AAA.com slash insurance today. SoCal weather from KFI, rain and windy today with a slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs will be around 60. This report is brought to you by the Auto Club of Southern California. We're looking at your ride on the 210. Well, one more time here. If you're still at home, it's as early as you can. It's uh, no fun driving anywhere, really. Pasadena, Arcadia. Now, eastbound, eastbound, 210 at Madre. It's a serious crash involving a rig, one of many, actually. Now only just two right lanes are open. The whole freeway was shut down there for a while, so expect delays going through. Now, back to surface streets. Sometimes the surface streets can be worse than the freeways when it gets like this, but Universal City, Lancashire at Ventura Boulevard. That's the start of flying the Boulevard West, going down towards the bowl. Uh, but signals out, so uh, be careful. That's a very, very busy intersection, so be careful going through. It should be a four-way stop. And Yorba Linda, uh, from Senior Hill to Yorba Linda, uh, West 91, South 55, Express 2 left to block the uh, the 91 stops at the 241 building. Orange Coast Palma gets you due, or get on the South 55 at Capella. Extremely tough morning. The day of fine, this guy helps get you there faster. I'm Jeff Boss. This report is sponsored by Jeff Anderson and Associates. 
It's never too late to heal from the sexual abuse you suffered as a child. California law gives victims the right to seek justice and compensation. Call Jeff Anderson and Associates to learn more. 1-800-IT'S-TIME. 12011 Santa Santa Boulevard, Los Angeles, now 0049. Homeowner, have you heard the ads from the other mortgage companies talking about their great rates, but they never mention the rates? It's because their rates really aren't that great. At Interactive Mortgage, our 15-year fix is a rock bottom 1.99% weighted APR. That's right, 1.99% with no force. And Interactive Mortgage will even take your title, escrow, and appraisal fees. Shorten your loan terms, cash out for the holidays, or simply lock in a rock bottom rate before rates go up. Give yourself the gift that keeps on giving this season. Call Interactive Mortgage today at 844-371-CASH. That's 844-371-CASH. 844-371-2274. Or visit interactivemortgage.com. Winpoint Corporation DBA Interactive Mortgage. Equal housing lender. Terms and conditions apply. New coins only. Loan about $300,000 to $647,200. Minimum $547.40. And maximum LTV of 60%. All loans subject to underwriting approval and not all applicants will fall. Loans made or arranged pursuant to California Finance Law License Number 603 f 938 In MLS. It was the night before Christmas, and someone in your house was tossing and turning like an insomniac mouse. The children were nestled, all snug in their bed, while the lumps in your mattress filled you with dread. When out of the radio, there arose such a clatter, it was me screaming free. Not some quiet pitter patter. I didn't think you should go for the best gift of all, a great night's sleep for once. And for all, it's fit and sleep year and clearance sale. Save up to 50% off all the best brands. Plus, with your good credit, get 0% financing for 24 months with your minimum monthly payment. And a $300 gift with any tempur pedic purchase. If no, 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 no. Or too small. Our exclusive bed mesh technology scientifically fits no, you with no, just the right mattress. A bundle of beds he had flung in his path to soothe and relieve no, your aching back. No. And I heard him scream as he drove out of sight. Trust your face to sit and sleep into all a good night. Let me tell you, I am so happy I went to Solar Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, with all the money I've right, right. now get, Solar Max is offered Tesla 420 panels and power walls for $79.96 per month and zero down. Now, pound 250 from the and say the keyword Solar Max or go to solarmaxtech.com. I'll be turned by the other one. Please try to see if it's even a nice one. Looking for predictable monthly cash flow? How about double digit targeted returns? Want to reduce uncertainty while hugging inflation and stock market risk? If you want the safety and security of the real estate investment without the hassle of being a landlord, you've probably heard of NRIA. NRIA is an industry leading real estate investment firm in the last year developing strategically located, lower risk, high demand neighborhoods based on supply, demand, and balance. They're a great fit for safety-oriented investors who want cash flow and diversification into carefully chosen real estate. Learn more about the NRIA Real Estate Development Fund at NRIA.net or call 800-800-1440. That's 800-800-1440.